for this problem, we're going to have to use something called the rocket equation. So the rocket equation tells us that if we want to find the velocity of a rocket, uh, given that the initial velocity is v naught, then it's given by this formula. So m naught is the initial mass, and then m is the mass that corresponds to the uh, velocity v. So when, when your rocket is traveling at speed, speed v, it has mass m. So for a given initial mass and initial velocity, and u is just the speed that uh, the rocket uh, expels the fuel out of itself. So this is relative to the rocket's frame. Uh, so this is the rocket equation, and using this we can solve this problem. So what we want to find is the uh, corresponding mass of the rocket when momentum is maximized. So we can do that first by finding the momentum first. Momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So it's equal to mass times this expression over here. So first of all, note that the initial velocity of the rocket is equal to zero. So it starts at rest. So that's why we can ignore this term for this problem. Then in order to find the uh, maximum, we can uh, differentiate this whole thing and then let it be equal to zero. So differentiate, I'm just going to pull the constant out first. So u is a constant. And then differentiating in terms of m, we can use the product rule. So we're going to differentiate m, that's just equal to 1. And then we're going to differentiate natural log n not over m. And then we're going to use the chain rule. So we can flip this down. And then we're going to differentiate the inner expression, which gives us this. So we can actually do a bit of simplification. So notice that uh, this m, you can actually flip it upwards. So you see that two m's here, they cancel out. The two m naughts, they also cancel out. So we get minus one. And then to order to find the maximum, this is equal to, we can let this be equal to zero. So when, uh, when this whole expression is zero, the corresponding m is going to give us the maximum. So I can just divide the u over to the other side. So natural log m naught over n is equal to one. This implies that m0 over m is equal to e, the constant, 2.71. So m is equal to m0 over e. So when the mass is equal to the initial mass divided by this constant e, the momentum will be maximized. And then using this, we can actually find the corresponding uh, maximized momentum. So we can just substitute it back into this uh, expression. So natural log m0 over n the e will just go up, it will just be natural log e, so that's just equal to 1, so we can ignore that. So this is the corresponding maximum momentum. So the second part of, the, of this problem, we need to find the energy and the corresponding mass where, by which the, ma uh, the energy is maximized. So once again, we can do the exact same thing. So we, uh, last time we did it for momentum, this time we're doing it for energy. So once again, we can just substitute this expression inside. So I'm going to pull all the constants out first. So we differentiate energy. So let's just pull the constants out first. So once again, we use the product rule. And plus, we're going to keep this, and then we're going to differentiate this expression here. So we're using the chain rule twice. So then we're going to have to differentiate the inner expression, which is just 1 over v naught over n, and then minus m naught over m squared. So of course we can do a bit of simplification. So the simplification is pretty similar to what we did before. So these, these two m's, they cancel out m naught cancels out. So we get negative 2 natural log n naught over m. And then like before, we let this be equal to 0. So we can just divide the constants to the other side. And then we see we have a we have two, uh, we have two of these natural log uh, expressions here, and just one over here. So we can divide that on both sides and get rid of them. 0. So this gives us that natural log n naught over m is equal to 2. So this means m naught over m is equal to e squared. So the corresponding mass that gives us the maximum energy is equal to 
and not divided by e square. And then we can actually once again use this and then substitute it back inside this expression to find the corresponding maximum uh, energy. So n, we just substitute that back in. And then substituting m not over e square, this becomes natural log e square, which is equal to 2. So 2 squared, that's equal to 4. So that we can get rid of that. So the final energy is given by this expression. So this is the maximum energy.